Alright, I am back. Um, so I was looking it up a little bit ago, and turns out episode 2 is the last uh, part that Telltale had or was involved in with directly until Skybound took over with season, or episode 3 and 4. Um, so yeah, the last two parts will be the Skybound episodes, so. Yeah, otherwise, I'll be starting episode two today, and yeah, here we go. Previously on The Walking Dead, AJ and I had been searching for a long time for some place we could call home. Just when we thought we'd found a huge stash of food, it turned out to be a trap. That could have been the end. But I woke up and found I'd been saved by a guy named Marlin. The leader of a community living inside an old boarding school. It felt like a chance at having a home, a real one. We had to go back to the train station to see if any food survived the explosion. But someone else had the same idea. When AJ distracted him, I shoved him into a pack of walkers. I found Marlin and Brody in the basement that night, arguing about the man we'd seen, and I learned why Brody was so afraid. The man was part of a group of raiders they'd run into a year ago. Marlin traded Tennessee's older sisters to the raiders to keep himself safe. He attacked Brody and locked me in the basement with her. When she turned, I had to stop her. Marlin stole AJ's gun and tried to convince them I had murdered Brody. Violet backed me up. With everyone against him, the fight went out of Marlin. I told him he could stay, but he couldn't be our leader. But then... Marlin was dead. And AJ pulled the trigger. He remembered what I'd taught him. To save the last bullet for himself. I made you some coffee. It was in the kitchen. Tin said that I can have some. I didn't steal it. <sighs> I'm surprised you remember how to make it. We haven't had coffee in a long time. You put it in hot water. You're right. Thanks. Last night, with Marlin? I heard Lewis and, and what he called me. Am I a murderer? No! Oh my god! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. He's dead. The kid blew his brains out. You shot him. He's dead. You're a murderer. You promised Marlin. You said you'd help him fix things. What the fuck did you teach this kid? Lewis called me a murderer. But... But we're supposed to kill bad stuff. Monsters. Did I do it bad? I thought Marlin was bad. He killed Brody. He... Lewis was right. 
Sometimes people do bad things, like Marlin did. But when you shot him, he wasn't a threat to us anymore. If you kill someone when they're no longer threatening you, that's murder. What are we gonna do? Fucking murdered him. Take AJ, go inside. Come on, let's go. Oh, just let them go back to the dorms? What happens the next time one of us does something this kid doesn't like? Should we expect a bullet too? That's not what happened. It's exactly what happened. Marlon started this. He killed Brody and almost got me too. AJ did what he had to do. What he had to? He didn't have to shoot Marlon in the fucking skull. It was over! Get it, Lewis. Just back off, okay? Back off? Seriously? Let's go. Clem? Clem? If I'm a murderer, am I gonna die too? What? No. Well, I think murderers are like monsters, and... I know what happens to monsters. Nothing good. Nothing good at all. AJ, you're not a monster. They think I am. I wish they didn't. We're going to fix this, you and me. I'm going to help you atone. Atone? It means make up for what you did wrong. We'll make it all right with the others. <laughs> for God's sake, someone help me with this! <laughs> Save you from that car wreck, and you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch. Get back. Or what? You're gonna let him kill me too? Then who's next? A Sim? Willie? Haven't enough people died tonight? Brody, Marlin, we can't keep killing each other. How oh, fuck are you saying that to me after what he did? Screw both of you. Hey, what is it? You've killed a lot of people. You told me your friend Lee became a monster. But you didn't kill him because he wasn't a threat. Is that why you didn't kill him? I couldn't do it. He was too important to me. I don't want to lose you. I'm right here. I love you, Clem. I love you back. Hey. Violet said to come get you for the funeral. Really? We used to have them more. Then we stopped. It seems right, though. I brought you something. For me? I figured you'd be afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave last night, like a firefighter. No, firefighters are good. I'm a murderer. No, you're not. You gotta have a trial first. They decide that stuff in a courtroom. That's how it works. Uh, worked before. Back then, there were all kinds of rules about who was innocent, who was guilty. We have to decide things for ourselves now. We can't rely on other people to make the rules for us. Who decided you're a murderer? Clem. But she's right. So is everyone else. I think you're okay. You sure you don't want your firefighter? You should keep him, because you're good, like him. But maybe we could play with him later? Together? Sure. After the funeral. They buried them already. The vial will start it soon. See you out there. <sighs> this 
is going to be hard. Everyone's going to be upset. We need to show them we care, okay? Okay. Almost dead. They'll live if we water them. No, they still die. Once you bring them inside, they only get a few days. Oh. They look good together. Do you think his is better? No, I like them both. Still cool. Time to go? Soon. <sighs> Ready? something I want to check just to be safe uh, besides the actual save file uh, looks like it saved but uh, I just mainly just had a thought just a second ago uh, I wanted to check the music player to see if I alright yeah that shows us off alright well, that's what I was curious about whether or not a song was Still playing or not? Um, but yeah, that'll be it for today. Uh, it's the remaining remaining three episodes uh, of the series, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, otherwise, peace out.